Hello and welcome everyone. My colleague Jesus Vitori and myself, Cristina Valdez, both working in the transportation, design and engineering area at TMT Madrid, are going to present you the new BRT line operating in Madrid since last year, 2023. As the audience will probably know, a BRT is a public transport system designed to have much more capacity, reliability and other quality features than a conventional bus system. Therefore, attributes conventionally associated with rail systems are included in BRTs, such as segregated lanes. In this case, the line has 19 out of 31 kilometers with these segregated lanes and traffic light priority. Though the infrastructure is shared with other conventional lines, only the BRT has this priority. As a result, speed in this line is around 22 km per hour, while our average speed is around 13 km per hour. Also, vehicles running in this line are not the conventional ones, but the e tram model, which has a much, more, a much more modern design. Also, the new ticket machines have been implemented at the bus stops to reduce time at stops while buying the ticket. This picture shows the itinerary of the line, which links two neighborhoods, Valdebebas, still in development, and San Cinarro, already consolidated with the reference hospital. This difference in the development of the neighborhood has influenced, as you will see now, the difference in the segregated platform. In most of the infrastructure running along Valdebebas, a new segregated platform has been constructed using an existing uh, vegetated central reservation space, as you can see in the picture. In San Cinarro, much more consolidated and with a much higher space restriction, the segregated platform has been done by redistributing the existing lanes. Therefore, the BRT now runs on the left lane, where entrances and exits from the buildings on the side, and the parking maneuvers do not disturb the bus speed. As previously said, buses running in this line are new. They are 100% electric and with a much modern design with more glass and cameras inside instead of rear view mirrors. The new ticket machines with solar panels have been implemented in both heads and the 19 stops with the aim of saving the time spent in buying and selling the ticket. And now my colleague Jesus Vitoria will explain you the traffic light priority, which is the main innovative point of this new infrastructure. Now. We are going to explain traffic light priority system on the bus rapid lane. My partner has explained that the area of implementation of the bus rapid line includes two neighborhoods with different characteristics. On the left, in green, San Cinarro is a consolidated area. Consequently, there are more difficult to boil a physically segregated platform. Moreover, crossings are regulated by traffic lights and had to be adapt them to the new situation. On the right, in blue, Valdebebas is a new neighborhood that is growing day by day. The streets are wider and most of the traffic light crossings are recently implemented. Here, even it was possible to cross several runabouts with a bus lane in the middle of them. Something important is that other bus lanes are allowed on the segregated platform. So a selective detection system had to be created only for rapid bus with more than 300 loops. Loops are really important in this project and have several functions that we will explain later. In addition, traffic system is centralized and connected by fiber optics and camera to manage traffic light regulation. To achieve traffic light priority, the architecture is like a usual loop detection. I mean, a metal mass, the bus, disturbs a magnetic field that sends a signal to a receiver and with an accurate configuration of the traffic regulator the desired phase at traffic light is triggered. In this case the movements of the bus 
and the rest of the vehicles are managed independently. This is the reason why the bus lane had, has its own traffic lights with bus word print. As we said before, other lines can use the segregated lanes, but not with traffic light priority. So this implies that in order to differentiate a regular bus from a bus on the bus rapid line, because both of our metal masses, an emitter is on board on the buses that allows taking into account only their demand. Two, there is a special receiver inside the traffic regulator. In addition, the traffic light crossings are centralized in a system and monitored by the Madrid City Council, which have a permanent connection to fiber optic communications. To distinguish the lines without priority of the bus rapid line buses, the traffic light priority system is achieved by combining three detectors in every crossing. The first of them, the advance or approximation detector, DA. It is located before arriving to the crossings at a, de at a distance that allows minimum security times before triggering the traffic light priority. For example, you have to guarantee a minimum times which led pedestrians to cross the street before red light. The second one is called a stop line detector, DP. It is located about 15 meters upstream the stop line. It is used to confirm the presence of apps of a bus rapid vehicle um, as a backup of the DA in case of failure. And the third one is known as cancel detector, DC, which confirms that bus rapid has finished passing through the crossing and it is possible to reopen regular circulation again. It is located after the crossing. Here we have an illustration of a real crossing on the bus rapid route. First of all, the three detectors. The advanced or approximation one, DA, far enough away to allow the priority phase to be triggered safely. Close to the crossing, the stop line detector, confirmation. And after the crossing, the cancel detector, which let reopen usual traffic light regulation. This detector are generating several demands to the traffic regulator, which coordinate the traffic lights according to the established programming to give priority to the bus rapid that circulates on the reserved platform. There are several special cases to take into account that induce unique situations related with traffic light priority system. For example, if there are bus stops located just before a crossing, passing times will be variable, depending on the stop times. This represents extra complexity when granting priority. In sum, the advanced or approximation detector, DA, of the following crossings is located at the previous bus stop to avoid being affected by this, by this time variation. Also, other regular lines are allowed to drive in along the segregated platform, we said before, and it requires the regulation of the traffic light phase for these lines. So a system of regular detection loops has been implemented independently of those of the bus rapid. We call it selective detection system. In runabouts, there is free circulation of buses. I mean, buses use any of the lanes if necessary. 
So if any of the textures of the selected detection system is in runabout, the, the loop is repeated as many times as the number of lanes. This is the real picture of the crossing in the previous example. The top line detector, DP, is the first one in the picture. One of the loops that is used by regular lines, no priority, is the closest one to the stop line. And cancel detector, DC, is located at the exit of the, of the crossing. The advance or approximation detector, DA, cannot be seen because it is far away. Okay. Once the priority traffic light have been theoretical explained, we are going to see some examples of real circulation. In this video, we observe a bus rapid vehicle dropping off some travels. The approximation detector, DA, of the following crossing is located at the bus stop, so priority is triggered in the following crossings. Traffic lights are red for everyone except bus repeat. Here we have another example. In this case, bus rapid access the runabout with priority, being detected by the detectors before the crossing. Um, it crossed the runabout. Okay. Later, we are going to see that this bus is driving along a street where there are several crosswalks. If a pedestrian press the button to cross the street, the priority, the priority system prevent green light to pedestrian until bus rapid has gone. the bus stop, priority is triggered again and let the bus turn to the right from the left lane. This is one of the most dangerous situations and this means turning all the traffic lights red except for the bus rapid ones. Finally, here we have an, an onboard video and we can see uh, the bus rapid circulating on the physically segregated reserved platform. It is approaching a runabout where mass turn to the right. It's similar to the previous case and it's dangerous. So we can see traffic light priority system detects bus rapids and turns all the traffic light red, except for the bus rapid ones. Consequently, priority and road safety are sure. To resume, the first bus rapid transit line in the city of Madrid has been present, as well as an approach to the operation of traffic light priority system. Thank you so much for your attention. We hope you have enjoyed it.